Thug and Travis Scott is a duo that actually happened both pretty on in their early careers. Well, more so Travis is than Young Thugs, however, they were both present in earlier stages of their music, like whenever they were like becoming who they were. Especially Travis, you know, you got Skyfall, Mama Sita, you know, big hits like that. Um, Pick Up the Phone is one of my favorite songs, and I think is the best example of like the potential of what they do on a song, you know? They both bring out different styles and work differently. It's like two sides of hip hop, honestly. It's like there's a dynamic. Um, I don't compare it in terms of like what they sound like because I think they're a better duo than Drake and Future. I'm comparing it how Drake and Future are two different kind of parts of hip hop, like combining. There, there's a dynamic. You know what I'm saying? But there's a difference between Future and Uzi, who aren't necessarily two completely different sides, you know what I'm saying? So it doesn't work as well. But when you look at Young Thug and Travis, they both bring out different sides of themselves. Um, Maria I'm Drunk is the best example of this. Both of them, both of their styles mix together perfectly on that song. Like, you can't tell me Maria I'm Drunk isn't amazing. Like, oh my God. Um, even more background, like vocals from Travis on Up To Something, it makes the song feel like it wouldn't be as good without it. And that's one of their, like, obviously, like, more low-key collabs. All it really is is Travis Scott's background vocals. But they bring something, and they mix so well with Young Thug's voice on what he's trying to do with that song that it makes it much better. Like, I don't feel like the song would be the same without Travis's vocals on it. And I know some people hate on Franchise, but I love it. And I don't think it's the same without Young Thug. I think Young Thug brings this weird verse that is just it fits with kind of a weirder sounding song it's it's kind of a freaky sounding song in my opinion like they both fit so well in each other's pockets so well like out west is perfect like oh my god and it's crazy because because they're different sides of hip-hop and because their dynamic is so well they're able to work on like different types of sounds so well with each other because they're both so versatile like pick up the phone and out west are two completely different songs theme like the vibes of the song you get the lyrics literally everything but they're both amazing you know mama sita and skyfall are other examples of them just in like just improve the songs and you can't remove either of them without it. i'm pretty sure i'm like 99 percent sure it's skyfall with young thug if it's not i'm gonna feel very stupid but i'm 99 percent sure it is like mama sita right both of them like they ha- they make their own pocket on the song and it works so well even schizo i feel like you take out young thug and it doesn't work as well especially on that like that beat specifically in that part of the song he works really well on it and like i don't even think that's one of their best collabs and i love the song hot is more of like an example of travis making a song 50 times better and making it work so well like hot is already a pretty good song i loved it when it was just young thug and gunna And then you add Travis to that mix, that ending verse, and it's amazing. You know, it makes the song amazing. Before I die, I need to hear a collab album from both of them. Hopefully, Young Thug gets out and he was like, guys, me and Travis were working on this album this whole time. Um, I do feel like their collabs from Business is Business were kind of weaker on the weaker side of like, if you had to make a discography of just Young Thug and Travis Scott songs, I feel like those two were on the weaker ones. But I do still feel like they're great collaborations. I even think Bubbly doesn't work the same without each other on it. I feel like they both they both bring it like a special part of the song. You've got Bubbly, um, Travis Scott's hook on the London is what makes that song as popular as it was. Mama Sita, there's a reason it's one of Travis's like most a lot of people say one of his best songs, Maria I'm Drunk. You know, you have Maria I'm Drunk stands. Because of Travis and Young Thug. Do you know how happy you would make me if, like, Travis, Thug, and Justin Bieber just randomly dropped another song? How crazy would that be? I heard that Thug verse on Schizo, and I genuinely was like, oh my god. Only thing we need now is a surprise, really good feature from Justin Bieber. And this song's amazing. I could have listened to that for the whole seven minutes. It just... They work so well together. I think there's something to be said... And something special about how they just can fit in each other's pockets, make their own pockets. And whenever I say pockets, I mean like 
it's kind of hard to describe what I mean. I mean like like special zone in the song. They create their own atmosphere. Their atmospheres work insanely, insanely well together. You know, you bring like Travis's like dark vocals, right? Compare that and mix it in with Thugs. Like he has the potential to do that, but he can also go like with his wild vocals and like the bar, like the lyrics that Young Thug has. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You can probably differentiate a Thug bar from another rapper's bar, but. It just, it leads to such good music, and they both can fit into each other's lane, you know. Thug can get into this wide, atmospheric, expansive sound that Travis will do, but then, like, Travis can hop on a club banger with Thug. You know, they both can do it in their own lanes so well. Like, like I said, perfect example, Out West, you can't compare Out West to Pick Me, like, Pick Up the Phone, because they're both completely different songs, but they both work in their own special way. And they're both amazing. I really, I know it's a, I know it's like, they're two huge rappers, you know, it's not really, I feel like back in like the old days, you know, when you had to go out and buy albums, features like with biggest, like big rappers collaborating with each other was a lot rarer. Not really a lot rarer, but like people kind of appreciated it more. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of another video for another day, low key. I've been wanting to do a video kind of like that, but you just you didn't really appreciate it as much because I feel like it just it happens so often now, you know. Young like the next Young Thug album, if you tell me a Travis Scott features on it, no one is gonna be surprised. People will be happy, but no one is gonna be surprised. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just not really how that goes. It's not really a surprise when they feature each other anymore. You know, you can say that about a million other rappers that feature a million other rappers, but like I said. I think they are a fantastic duo. And honestly, they're my favorite duo in music. Every time I'm about to turn on a Thug and Travis song, I know it's going to be goaded.